Welcome everybody to EverQuest 2 Harnessing Macros, the alias command. This is the DPS Raiders edition. Raid leaders, imagine if your DPS is always hitting whatever that main assist is targeting. I mean, it would blow your mind if everybody was on point all the time. How about we just take the guesswork out of it, set everything up ahead of time, and see how this rolls. We'll end up needing two buttons, uh, and then plus any additional buttons for your individual abilities. So, <clears throat> this is, sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. Uh, <laughs> this is our table of contents. Okay, first we'll start with a brief overview of the alias command. Uh, you can look at a more detailed version of that in my uh, channeler's edition. Next is the command string, useful for DPS, those that use a main assist and also the actual use in a macro. Let's go ahead and start with this brief overview. So here's what the command looks like. So it's alias, then you have a key phrase, then you have a command, and in this case I'm adding on this uh, percentage T, which is a placeholder. So alias is a command used to assign another command to a key phrase, so that becomes a new command. The key phrase is any word or combination of numbers and text without spaces that is not currently exist an existing command in EverQuest 2. So that key phrase will become the actual command, just like I said, you know, a moment ago. Uh, I blame my cold. <laughs> so the command is any pre-existing command within EQ2. I don't believe alias uh, commands can stack into each other. Not sure. Haven't tried it yet. I'll do that at a later date. Then the percentage T is a placeholder that the game will replace with your target's name. So it's whoever you're targeting will be inserted into that, uh, that space. That's it for our overview. So here are the two commands that a main assist might use. So if I go back one step, the alias ma targ uh, colon assist uh, percentage t. So this is what you would put into a macro, and then you would target your uh, your main assist, and you'd click the button. And this will set up all of your abilities that you're going to set up uh, using this forward slash ma targ command. Okay, so no matter what, before you cast your abilities, you'll always be uh, on whatever that main assist is on. Secondarily, we have alias targ1, and this means that, you know, you might have multiple targets that you'll want to add to this, but all this command is going to do is, is going to, is, as you see in the green text, it's going to target, and then whatever that target was when you clicked the macro for this. Now, these two both need to be in their own separate macros, and any additional targ commands that you make will have to be in their own macros. I would highly recommend having probably about three of these. Uh, I've been in instances where there's, you know, there's something like two names that you're juggling between. Say you need to keep your, your debuffs up on them, and you'll then want to be able to switch back to whatever your main assist is on, uh, which is where that MA targ comes in. So you'll be able to instantly target, and that, that should work for uh, mem wipes as well. So if you have a, a boss monster um, that mem wipes, and say you're even a main tank, I mean, you'll be able to instantly go back to that target, or anytime you press that ability, you'll be able to target that mob again. All right, moving on. So this is how the macro would actually look. So first we would clear, which will clear your casting queue. You'll cancel your spell cast. You know, you're putting on full stop, full break, burp, stop everything I'm doing. Okay. Command targ1, that's forward slash targ1, which would be on your next line, which each one of these is a separate command uh, or a separate line within a macro. Uh, and that should change your target to the mob that you set. Then you'll put in your abilities just like you would any other macro. And as long as you know the basics of macros, you know, drag, drop, boop, 
just make sure it's all in this order. So it should be forward slash CL on the first line, second line, forward slash cancel spell cast. Don't forget that underscore. Uh, next line, forward slash targ1. Next line, whatever your ability or abilities are. All right. Now let's go on to the next type of button, which would be, once again, we're always going to start it off with a uh, forward slash CL. Then forward slash cancel spell cast. And that, of course, full stop, full breaks. All right. And then we're going to automatically assist the main assist. And then our abilities come after that. Hopefully that helps. Uh, I imagine that as long as your main assist is on point, uh, this shouldn't be very much of a problem. It should actually clear up a lot of the uh, target switching for a lot of people. Um, you could sit there with you know your your high tech mouse or whatever, clicking on your hot buttons, uh, but you're al you already have your hot buttons set up to assist your main assist. That way you don't have to even uh, worry about typing in a name correctly for a target or typing in a name correctly for your uh, for your main assist. Now you could also make a main uh, main tank button and a secondary tank button. So if you're a healer or someone who who needs to specifically assist the main tank for some reason, uh, then you'll be able to do that directly as well. So please use to your advantage and let me know if there's any other videos that you would like me to bring up. Uh, next up should be a main tank or uh, secondary tank video. Good luck and have fun.